Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is all about supersets. I filmed 10 of my favorite supersets I have used for years and continue to implement into my trainings because they work so well for me. And hopefully you will be able to see some new ones to try out and use in your own trainings. These are in no particular order. I love all of them. So starting off with the dumbbell shoulder overhead press for superset one. Now, depending on the current goals I have and what all I program will then dictate how many reps and sets I use for these supersets. With the overhead presses will be wide grip lat pull downs. So this superset is an example of an antagonistic, agonist, antagonist, push pull, however you want to refer to it as, superset, where we are targeting opposing muscle groups. So here would be the delts and lats back to back. These are probably the most efficient form of supersets, but I love them for two simple reasons. One, shorter recovery required, meaning more work in less time, so you're not in the gym for 10 years. And two, strength increases, which I have experienced time and time again by implementing an antagonist set immediately after my first set. If you're not new here, you see me implement these forms of supersets all the time throughout my training, and you will be seeing them throughout this video quite a bit. Superset two is all about the hamstrings. So first you will start with a hamstring curl. My gym has a lying machine, but you can also do this with the seated upright ham curl machine or use a decline ab bench in a dumbbell or lay on the ground and use a long resistance band. Many alternatives to this piece of equipment right here. So if you don't have this in your gym, no worries. Just do one of the other alternatives I just mentioned. Then you will pick up dumbbells and get into constant tension RDLs, where you keep the reps flowing and stop just short of full upright position to keep that tension on the hamstrings. So this superset is targeting the same muscle group back to back, but working the muscle in two different greatest tension points. With the first exercise, you are targeting the hamstrings in the shortened position, and here you are targeting them in the lengthened position. This is a great way to target a muscle group with a lot of volume and intensity in a short amount of time. Moving back on up to the upper body, we got straight arm pull downs for the back. You can use a rope, a straight bar, a wide grip bar. So many attachments work for this movement, which is great if you train in a busy gym and something is taken. Now I do like to keep a slight bend in my elbow, but then I lock my arm there for the entire movement. If you bend at the elbow as you pull down, you will feel your triceps fire up. Feeling them a little bit is normal. You just don't want them to overtake the movement. I then go and take the cable machine and I put it down to the 14th notch. My machine has all of them numbered. So if yours is like that as well, I put mine at the 14th position just to give you an idea. And I sit on the ground, lock my feet by putting them in and against the cable machine and I do face pulls. This is my favorite way to perform these for rear delts, but you can also do them standing if that's more your style. Either way is fine. I do find that you will be able to pull more weight if you do that seated. So if you are trying to build up your strength and your rear delts, seated may be a better alternative for you, but you can do them standing. Now, of course, for superset four, I had to incorporate my favorite ab superset. You all have seen me do a bunch on here, but it's amazing and there's no changing my mind. <laughs> this superset will give you abs and core of steel. So you will first do weighted cable crunches. Breathing is so important, obviously with all training, but especially with abdominal training. So make sure you are properly bracing and breathing throughout every single rep. <music> then 
then I flatten out my mat. I used to pad my knees and I also will lay my jacket down because I'm usually sweaty at this point in my workout and the mat turns into a slip and slide if I don't. And then I will hold onto the cable machine to perform my lying leg raises. When performing lying leg raises, you really want to make sure that you're keeping your back pressed flat against the mat the entire time to ensure that your core is braced. Now you'll notice I also do a little butt up at the top and that just takes the burn to the next level and really just gets those abdominal muscles fired up. So this is how I perform my lying leg raises that I superset with the cable crunches. And I do this about two to three times a week, depending on how many sets and reps I did in the previous sessions will determine how many times a week I do it. And right back on down to the legs is starting superset five with glute cable kickbacks. I stand on top of a plate to keep the working leg from snagging on the ground. If you have experienced the snag, you know just how annoying that is. I also always prefer to keep my upper body more parallel to the ground because it just feels better for me. It helps not fire up my lower back. It just helps me feel it so much more in my glutes when I am leaning this way, but you can do them more upright if you would like. I then kick slightly out diagonally and point the toes out a bit as well. This right here will target your working glute like nobody's business. If you have trouble feeling your glutes with this exercise, do exactly what I just said and I'm pretty sure you'll be surprised at the difference. So then I go and scoot the plate over and add a V-bar attachment or whatever you have and I do constant tension cable squats. Now notice the depth I am hitting with my squats. I'm ensuring that my glutes are fully stretched at the bottom of the movement before I shoot back up. Now obviously how deep you can go will ultimately depend on your mobility, but just aim to get those glutes fully lengthened each rep as best as you can. Superset six, starting off with bench dumbbell chest press. This is actually one I picked up from my boyfriend one day when he took me through a session and I have stolen it and it has now become a favorite of mine to do as well. So with those chest presses, you will then get up and do alternating bicep curls for a push-pull pairing. Now I don't know what it is about these exact two exercises being paired together, but every time I do them, I push more on my chest presses and I also just feel more controlled and tighter throughout them. It's just a great combo all around and not one you ever really see. It's definitely worth a shot if you haven't tried this one before, but I absolutely love it. Superset seven, moving back onto the booty, starting with constant tension barbell hip thrusts. You want to make sure you're getting a full lockout at the top of each rep and that you're fully engaging your glutes. So make sure you are squeezing your glutes at the top of every single rep. I then get up and get on the Smith machine and do deficit reverse lunges. So the deficit is created from that plate under my front foot. I'm taking a wide step back and doing a slight tap reset at the top of each rep. Now you can also do these free weight with a barbell, but I definitely find that the Smith machine for these is just superior because it eliminates that stability factor, which can be extremely limiting for a majority of people. So that is why I always opt for the Smith machine over free weight when it comes to this exercise, especially for my peeps out there with knee issues. Now, other than that, you can do these as well with dumbbells, which I do sometimes instead as an alternative. But again, Smith machine is definitely my number one go-to. Set 
set eight, another back and shoulder superset that I use all the time in my training is starting off with a chest supported upright single arm row. Now you can also do these with a dumbbell bent over single arm. If your gym doesn't have that machine, that's totally fine as well. But since my gym does have this machine, I absolutely love it. So I do use this instead. So I always make sure to have a pair of dumbbells ready to go next to me when I do this. So right when I finish the rows, I can stand up and get into my lateral raises immediately. Now I like high volume with these. So I normally opt for moderate weight, higher reps to really feel the contact and just burn out the lateral delts. almost to the finish line. If you're still here with me, you're a real one. So superset nine starts off with the elevated straddle lift. I use risers for this so I can get as high as I need to ensure I hit full ROM while holding the dumbbell vertical. But if you are shorter or you don't have risers, you can also just stand on two 45 pound plates and hold the dumbbell horizontal instead. And you should be able to achieve full ROM that way as well. Then I will either do one of two things. I will do these reverse hypers off a bench for high reps, or instead I will do glute extensions. My gym now has a GHR instead of the back extension. So I know not a lot of people have the GHR. So I figured I just show a small clip of me using it for glute extensions. Remember this is different than using it for back or hamstrings, but I instead focused for this video on the one that I know is probably more accessible to most people. So that would be the reverse hypers. And finally, the last superset, everyone, we have made it. This one is for the quads. And if you really want to feel those quads working, then this one is for you. So first I start off with leg extensions. I was in the gym filming for so long to get this video done for you all that I drained my camera batteries and had to film the rest of the sets on my phone. So if there's a switch in lighting at all, that is why you'll kind of notice a difference. That last clip was on my phone. This one was the last one I was able to get on my camera, you get my drift. And once I finish the extensions, I will get up and do close stance Bulgarian split squats while holding a dumbbell or a kettlebell. And that everyone will close out today's video. I really hope you all find some supersets in here to try out and incorporate into your training from this video. If you do, let me know here in the comments or on my Instagram. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you all. Have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.